Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikivids video about Willard Gibbs. Josiah Willard Gibbs, February 11, 1839 to April 28, 1903, was an American scientist who made important theoretical contributions to physics, chemistry, and mathematics. His work on the applications of thermodynamics was instrumental in transforming physical chemistry into a rigorous inductive science. Together with James Clerk Maxwell and Ludwig Boltzmann, he created statistical mechanics, a term that he coined, explaining the laws of thermodynamics as consequences of the statistical properties of ensembles of the possible states of a physical system composed of many particles. Gibbs also worked on the application of Maxwell's equations to problems in physical optics. As a mathematician, he invented modern vector calculus, independently of the British scientist Oliver Heaviside, who carried out similar work during the same period. In 1863, Yale awarded Gibbs the first American doctorate in engineering. After a three-year sojourn in Europe, Gibbs spent the rest of his career at Yale, where he was professor of mathematical physics from 1871 until his death. Working in relative isolation, he became the earliest theoretical scientist in the United States to earn an international reputation, and was praised by Albert Einstein as the greatest mind in American history. In 1901, Gibbs received what was then considered the highest honor awarded by the international scientific community, the Copley Medal of the Royal Society of London, for his contributions to mathematical physics. Commentators and biographers have remarked on the contrast between Gibbs's quiet, solitary life in turn-of-the-century New England and the great international impact of his ideas. Though his work was almost entirely theoretical, the practical value of Gibbs's contributions became evident with the development of industrial chemistry during the first half of the 20th century. According to Robert A. Milliken, in pure science Gibbs did for statistical mechanics and for thermodynamics what Laplace did for celestial mechanics and Maxwell did for electrodynamics, namely, made his field a well-nigh finished theoretical structure. Gibbs died in New Haven on April 28, 1903, at the age of 64, victim of an acute intestinal obstruction. A funeral was conducted two days later at his home on 121 High Street, and his body was buried in the nearby Grove Street Cemetery. In May, Yale organized a memorial meeting at the Sloan Laboratory. The eminent British physicist J.J. Thomson was in attendance and delivered a brief address. Well my friends, I hope you have enjoyed this brief video about Willard Gibbs. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivids.